back to the World Record Talk Show. We are live from Rogers, Brampton, Ontario, Canada. Now we passed eight hours, three minutes, and 12 seconds. All right. The businessman has to give a strong band. Oh, a strong band. Yeah. Okay. Big boy. Perfect. That means we are not uh, under recession, right? I'm sorry. That the, the, the voice is we are we are wealth uh, we are wealth country. Yes, we are. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. So tell about uh, what do you do uh, at the moment. Uh, well, I own, a, I own a marketing company called The Marketing Pad, and what we do is we help businesses overcome any problems or difficulties that they're having, uh, whether they're small businesses, large businesses, or not-for-profit businesses. Uh, we go in there and we talk to them um, about what they're doing in marketing, about what they're doing in sales, and about some of the other activities that they're doing, and, and try to locate for them areas that they might be uh, a little lacking in, areas where they've experienced problems, uh, and just areas that they want to improve in. Um, because if you, if you have a company and you're focusing on one small area of that company, say, you know, marketing, everybody, everybody thinks, you know, they're a marketing guy. Uh, every company has somebody in their office, oh, they do marketing for us. Um, but the problem with that is that they don't really look backwards. And with marketing, it's not about looking forward to find out what you can do for your business and, and how to get the clients in. Marketing is also concerned with looking backwards and saying, what have we done in the past? What's our target demographic? Who should we be speaking to? Why should we be speaking to them? Where do they buy? How do they buy? And once you know those answers, that's when you can go forward with a marketing plan and say, okay, I know who I'm talking to. I know how I have to reach them. What's the best way to reach them? And it's, it's changed so dramatically in the past, uh, well, the 30 years that I've been doing it anyways. It's, it's changed big time. So, uh, in, ca in Canada, um, um, wh what is the, um, the um, type of marketing um, you, you are expecting uh, to improve? Well, a lot of the new style of marketing now is, is social media. Uh, everybody needs to be on, on the web, they need to have a great website, they need to be contacting through blogs and Twitter and, and Facebook. Uh, that's where a lot of companies are going today, but um, I firmly believe that there's still a place uh, in the marketing world for the old-fashioned personal contact marketing. Uh, that, that's, you know, a, that's, a, marketing. that's a good way to market. Just Absolutely. So, so many people, they don't have time to go to the internet and uh, um, or Twitter or Facebook. or it, 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 It's hard to, it, there's no, no time. Okay, the, the, uh, direct marketing, how, how, do, how, do you, how, do you, how do you explain the direct marketing? How do you well, it? direct marketing is, is more or less the old style of marketing. You've got you can do mailers, targeted mailers through Canada Post. Uh, you know, you can do a lot of a lot of networking. I don't read any mails. No, that's the problem. Uh, a lot of people don't read mail, um, and and with targeted most of the mails when they come marketing is go to the garbage. No, that's I never absolutely it. that's absolutely right, yeah. and that's why you need to know who your target market is. Mm -hmm. You know, if if a company wants to send out flyers, for example. Uh, there's a number of ways they can do it. They can do it through the newspaper. They can do it through the Board of Trade magazines that come out. Uh, they can do it independently targeted through Canada Post and just pick an area and say, I want to focus on the businesses in this area and just target those businesses rather than throwing as much crap against the wall as you can and, and hoping some of it sticks, which is what a lot of companies do, unfortunately. Uh, so there's, there's ways of, of getting out there, but I still believe the best way is to look at your target market and try and meet that target market demand. Everybody, everybody thinks they have to be on Facebook and everybody thinks they have to have a great website. Um, the problem is that a website is, is only as good as you make it and when you make it, you can have the best website in the world. You can spend $10,000 on a website and then sit back and hope people find your website. The problem is that if nobody knows your website even exists, they can't find it. So it, it's a secondary source where you've got to market uh, the website and, and you know put the website out wherever you can put it out on your on your email address put it out on your business card uh, put it out in any advertisement or promotion activities that you do that way people if they see you can go to the website rather than just hoping to find you if I you know if I want to if I want to look for a, a television host and I google television host that's my name's going to come now well I'm hoping you know you should hope your name <laughs> comes up 
Okay. So what, what you need to do now after this record is complete is you need to put out a worldwide challenge to every other TV or radio host anywhere in the world to beat your record. Beat your record, yeah. yeah no, and yeah. Once, once you put out that challenge, see that's, that's one, of your, uh, one of your marketing schemes that you can use. Once you put out that challenge worldwide, everybody in, who, who wants to take your record, say Oprah, for example, wants to beat your record, then she'll be talking about you. I'm trying to beat Suresh. I'm trying to beat, I'm trying to beat that guy from Brampton. And then you'll be known worldwide. That's, that's part of your marketing scheme that you're going to That's a good marketing scheme, right? Yeah. yeah.